Thanks everybody for joining us today for VFF demo today. Uh, my name is Alpha Key. I'm presenting Full Shark, which is a directional AMM for pro traders. A bit of background about myself. So I'm a software slash infrastructure engineer by trade. I've worked for a handful of fintech companies, uh, about eight years of doing that. And kind of always had this, this interest in, in trading. Um, so I early 2021, um, when Bitcoin started hitting these critical levels again, I was starting to look at glass analytics thinking like, okay, you know, I can predict the general uh, momentum of the markets, uh, by tracking a uh, large BTC activity. And I was also using three commas to be able to open and close all these small positions and sort of manage my trades on centralized exchanges. So coming on chain, I started playing around with yield farms and realizing like, hey, there's there's kind of like a void or a white space for sort of advanced tooling. Um, I didn't really feel like the tooling that was present really fit the user base. So what we're building is a directional AMM that allows for users to place one-way liquidity positions where they can buy or sell. And to kind of offset that against what's offered today on AMMs, is that users uh, can create a position, an LP position, that but that LP position uh, can but only can buy and sell. Uh, centralized exchanges today have a split buy and sell side. And um, I'll, I'll use these two terms throughout the presentation uh, inside the book. So inside the book refers to the buyer sell order being listed in the actual order book. So it's like ready to be executed. And then also outside the book, which refers to the buy or sell order not being actually listed in the order book, or in this case, the liquidity pool. So today, um, in a lot of cases, we're doing off-chain execution, which kind of results in this conditional market order. I'm still going to take the price that's there when I actually reach the AMM and my transaction is being executed. This results in slow execution. Uh, you're reliant on an off-chain actor, you know, perhaps. Uh, uh, this is going to result in slow execution, which is leads to a worse price. And uh, with the shark solution, we have uh, one-way execution. So that's why we refer to it as uh, directional LP. And this is faster because this trade is filled inside the pool along with all the other trades. So on the left, in the case of uh, the price being 2000 USD, that trade is going to execute when the price actually hits there. And on the right, it's ready to be executed. So just to give a simple rundown of like, you know, what exchanges offer versus what's offered on other AMMs, um, other uh, centralized exchanges offer a market order. So you can buy or sell at the current price, um, but you're not guaranteed execution. Limit order, you buy or sell at a specific price, and therefore you are guaranteed a specific price ex execution. And then stop orders are used to prevent losses. So, you know, if ETH goes 1500, hey, I want to exit my position. And so today's AMMs, they natively offer the market order. Uh, you can buy or sell at whatever the current price is there when I get there. Um, but uh, with PoolSharp, we're offering both limit orders and stop orders. And this allows users to kind of set one transaction. Uh, this is a problem uh, specifically with like token launches where there's a lot of volatility and you still want to get your transaction in by just sending a single transaction. You don't want to have to wait for multiple transactions, um, you know, that, that perhaps could fail. So moving on to target users. So I think primarily we're focused on pro traders that really want to trade volatility, uh, especially in these low cap tokens and uh, also um, protocols like liquidity managers, and uh, yield protocols that can benefit from these advanced LP types. Uh, also, AMMLPs that want access to hedging tools where they can uh, work with the naked asset instead of a derivative like an option or something like that. Uh, our tools also allow them to dynamically rebalance their position and uh, take profit on fee revenue when the price reaches a certain point. And uh, we'll also be looking to target market makers and see if we can kind of uh, get them to come and capture spreads and sort of uh, trade their portfolio uh, in this way. And so why is this an important problem? Uh, our overall team thesis is that the decentralized markets will look much like the traditional markets 
with a, the little caveat slash twist of um, things working technically different. And to us, this means relentlessly pursuing a limit order model that can scale to millions of users so that day one, when somebody launches their token, they have these features available. Great. Thanks so much, Alphaki. So first question, could you talk more about why PoolShark is needed as a separate protocol versus just as a UniV4 hook? Yeah, so essentially, these are two different tools uh, for two different jobs. So I, I like to think of uh, the liquidity that's provided on today's AMMs, uh, including Uniswap, uh, as sort of like, um, you know, think of it as a screwdriver. You can twist it both ways. So you could buy and sell uh, when you put up the assets. And here we're offering, uh, allowing users to only buy or only sell uh, such that it locks in their execution and it requires less uh, uh, hands-on uh, maintenance from them. Um, Praneet asks, how can you guarantee execution of stop orders? Yeah, so uh, essentially we um, use a Dutch auction mechanism to do this. So this is a problem that I've thought about very extensively. And uh, basically that Dutch auction must play out faster than what the volatility is is actually occurring. So uh, MakerDAO, for example, they um, uh, their Oracle can update as fast as 1% uh, per minute. So it's kind of the same. We sort of have the same uh, uh, sort of problems to solve there around making sure that we're improving the price such that someone wants to come in and scoop that liquidity. Can, can you say more about how PoolShark can take advantage of composability? Is this an important part of your value proposition? Definitely, yes. So thinking about, uh, like I said, liquidity managers, maybe Dow Treasuries, uh, they can have a very transparent view into how things are exactly going to execute. Uh, certainly, a lot of Dow's today are doing that off-chain with you know, maybe something like Uniswap Bax or CowSwap. Um, but we want to bring more of those participants on chain, allow them to more easily uh, take advantage of the features that we're offering. We have time for maybe two more questions. Will Price asked, are you planning to incorporate a loss versus rebalancing solution? Yeah, I think that's uh, something that we look into sort of, uh, I would keep that can further down the line. Um, I definitely just want to make users felt like we hear what their troubles are and we're addressing them. And so uh, I think as part of like the first iteration of this, uh, we want to have a solution that appeals not to those users such that we're able to pull them in and, and get that feedback about how we should develop a, a solution like that. Last question, Benjamin Funk asks, we're seeing a lot of trade execution move up chain with current exchange designs such as UniB4. What do you make of this shift? Yeah, I think ultimately uh, this kind of circles back to the the whole decentralized exchange stack, and that's um, you know if I can have some market makers offer better price before we get to the AMM, which may have a stale price. I think that's sort of the uh, biggest challenge there is uh, being able to keep the price real time. Uh, there's been studies done that basically say uh, Uniswap is 12 seconds behind finance, so. I think this is sort of resolved a bit with faster block times and uh, sort of scalability issues. But uh, yeah, does that answer your question? Yep. That's all the time that we have. Thank you so much, Alpha Key.